What's going on, everyone? Happy Friday to everyone. Hopefully everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy. If you had to take a COVID test since the last time we did an update, I hope you tested negative. If you did test positive, I hope you have a full and speedy recovery. It's time now for a shortened Friday version of the pandemic update for Friday, September 22nd, 2023. You may have noticed a couple things. Number one, we haven't done an update in a while. Number two, we're not in my room with the computer, you know, like I normally would. Well, there's reasons for that. So we did the wastewater update last Sunday. Later that day, I had to go down to Philadelphia International Airport to pick up my parents from travel. I was against them going on travel. It's a trip that they had planned a year in advance. I mean, the hope was maybe things would have been better, but the point is, despite how bad it would have gotten or how bad it is right now, it's, it's bad out there right now. Um, they went, anyhow, there was nothing I could say or do to stop them from traveling. They went to Paris. Then they went on a Viking cruise in Germany. I'm just going to fly out and say they were on a Viking cruise. And when they got there, apparently there were more than one, quite a few sick people that were just allowed to come on the ship. Uh, no medical staff on the ship, as I'm being told. Yeah, this is not good. And with that, there were people constantly coughing. Well, unfortunately, my mom did not test positive. My dad did test positive with, I, I, I wouldn't call it a mild case. You know, this my whole mild uh, prerogative. No, 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 no. He tested positive with a pretty uh, rough bout of COVID. He's still positive right now. I haven't worked all week. I'm only out today. We needed a couple things at the grocery store. I masked up. Mind you, I have been testing negative all week long. I actually took a test prior to them coming back because my allergies were just off the charts on Saturday night. Ragweed, I was coughing galore. Negative. I've been negative all week. And I hope to stay negative. See this mask? I've been wearing masks at home. So far, the masks have been working for me. But unfortunately, on their trip, you know, they were unmasked. But when I pulled up at the airport, or when I was going to pick them, when I got the call saying we're at Terminal A, it's International, it's at Philadelphia International Airport, I knew it right away. I could hear it in the voice. I said, okay, we're coming back to COVID. I expected this to happen. I mean, if you're going to travel in a pandemic, especially a trip like this on a Viking cruise, expect it to happen. Word is a ton of people have tested positive on this ship. Well more than half. I'm hearing there, there were other Viking cruises. This was a river cruise. This wasn't the big ones. This was, I mean, 200. That's enough people. That's just 200 people, not including staff. We're close to 200, and a large number of them tested positive. Not good. So my dad's home. He's still coming up positive. Uh, last night he said, quote, worst, uh, severe, most severe sore throat he's ever had in his life. Mind you, he's 70 years old. He still gets very tired in the evening. By like 8, 8.30 at night, it's time to go to bed. Um, he's still blaming it on jet lag. You can do that in the beginning, but after a while, you have to blame it on the virus. So we'll see how long that lasts. He's hoping he's better by early next week. I don't know. Uh, I mean, he first tested positive last Thursday. And I think he was likely sick prior to that. He was complaining that on the excursions, they were going on a bus. It was crammed with people. And uh, he would get very tired on the bus. He's claiming, oh, it's just a change in air. Mm -mm. I think he had it before then. And apparently on the ship, I'm not too familiar. I haven't been on a cruise ship since the early 90s. I was just a little kid. And it was nothing like this. Anywho, uh, they claimed that they sent them all to like a room for like an orientation type thing. And there was people constantly coughing all around them. I mean, I've said this before. I'm going to say it again. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't travel during a pandemic. But if you're going to get on a cruise ship, these cruise lines need to require a negative test before you can get on. If you show up positive, you should not be allowed to get on the ship. But here we are. I'm also told there were no medical staff on the ship. Ridiculous. You can't have one doctor or someone who's medically trained on the ship. What if someone's having a heart attack? What if someone's having like a sudden medical emergency? Now, this was a river cruise. I mean, it's a longer river, but you get the point. No medical staff? 
There are 200 people on the ship. I think that's a high number. I think that should require at least one medically trained person to handle a sudden medical emergency. And I was told, someone asked, are there any medical staff on the ship? And they really tried to dodge that question as much as possible. I don't know what the answer was, but they were like, oh, well, this question again. Come on. These cruise ships, these uh, cruises, they're not cheap. You can't have one medically trained professional on the ship. That's totally ridiculous. So, yeah. When I put on here, I put a thumbnail. You know, it helps attract viewers, whatever. Most majority of people, when they do a YouTube video, they put a thumbnail on there. You know, to, I guess, grab attention. I don't know. I do it. Mine's, uh, I think mine's pretty alarming. I put, the pandemic is not over. You know what, folks? It's the God's honest truth, and I'm personally seeing it right now. The pandemic really is not over. There's more I should tell you. They went with, uh, two, they met up with two friends. Uh, both of them are sick right now. One of them has tested positive. The other one is not positive, but also sick. You can speculate. I can speculate. It likely is COVID, but they're claiming it's not. Whatever. That's besides the point. The point is, people are still getting sick in high numbers. Travel right now is not safe. I don't recommend going on these uh, pleasure cruises or whatever you want to call them, luxury cruise. Uh, also, we got to talk about something else. COVID. It's really varies from state to state in the United States right now. We're watching New Jersey. Hospitalizations are rising. But I'm also seeing something else rise in New Jersey that I don't like to see. There are over 70 people in the ICU now. Their hospitalizations are over 500. But the number in the ICU, they're, it's going up again. New York State right now for COVID hospitalizations. They kind of like leveled off last week and this week, but that's probably not going to last. There's these HV variants. And hang on, let me catch my breath. These HV variants, uh, it's HV.1. There may be more of that pop up. We don't do a lot of sequencing. That's likely to cause the next wave going into October. And it's going to start at a different time in each state. So each state is really varying. New York State, while not dropping, that's still at the high level that it reached with the previous EG.5. And mind you, EG.5 is still rising as well. Then you go to places like Florida or Texas, dropping right now. Then you go out to the West Coast. West Coast still seems to be doing bad. Look at Las Vegas. There's some outbreaks in Las Vegas right now. Jimmy Kimmel tested positive. Um, Steve Martin's crew. We don't know. It says including one essential person. Doesn't say if that's actually Steve Martin himself. He didn't state that in his tweet. But the point is his crew tested positive. Uh, there was a talk show host, Shari something. She tested positive the other day. We're seeing outbreaks. Let's go back to the Northeast real quickly. Vermont. There's a private school in Vermont. They have roughly about 300 students. 70 of them now positive for COVID. There's 14 other outbreaks going on in Vermont. And to make matters worse, the White House knows things are bad right now. The good part about the White House knowing that things are bad right now is the free at-home test. They're coming back. But there's a problem. We tried to get my dad a PCR test the other day. I, I took him to the urgent care. I set up an appointment. They wanted a hundred, over $150 for a PCR test. He was not willing to pay that. So in the end result, he did not get a PCR. I really wanted to get him one for his medical record. But he says, well, that's too expensive. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, fine. So he at least saw the, um, he at least saw the doctor there. They saw whatever, there were two German drugs that he was given over in Germany. I don't know what they're called. I, I think actually on the box, I think it's written in Germany. He didn't want to take Paxlovid because he was told about a side effect from their friends. Like, oh, no, no. So he didn't want to take it. Fine. I mean, if I should catch COVID, I'd be leery about Paxlovid. But hey, that's up to the individual person. If you feel you want to get a course of Paxlovid after testing positive, by all means, Go out and do it. Go out and do it. I'm not telling you which drug to take, which not to take. So hopefully soon he'll start testing negative. And just be aware, COVID, it's out there right now. If you're hearing someone coughing constantly, stay away from that person. Please wear a mask. Please learn from other people's mistakes. My parents were not masking while on the ship. 
and this could have been avoided. My mom so far is still negative. I'm still testing negative. I'm going to test again either today or tomorrow. My dad's supposed to take another test this afternoon. Hopefully, it'll either be negative or not come up as fast because when he tested positive again just the other day, within two minutes, I mean, it came up right away. You know how you're supposed to wait 15 minutes? No. Within two minutes, it came up positive. So, uh, yeah, he's still he's still not feeling himself. You can definitely hear it in the voice. The voice is actually a little worse this morning. He sounded better yesterday, but it sounds a little worse today. So, comes and goes. Um, last Thursday, he first tested positive. I'm thinking he's probably started getting sick maybe on Tuesday. And who knows how long he caught it. I mean, you just don't catch it and then test positive the same day or get sick the same day. It takes a few days. I remember my case back in uh, 2020. Now, mind you, I never had a confirmed test, but I, I started getting a scratchy throat that night, but I didn't really start getting sick until two days later. And I, you know, it's different for everyone. This whole CDC, this is where I'm going to end it for today. This whole CDC, five days and you're good. It's a bunch of hogwash. It needs to be based on the individual person's case. Maybe some people are fine after a couple days. Maybe some people are asymptomatic. Maybe some people are fine in five days. But then you have some that are six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two weeks. I saw a tweet someone saying close to 20 days still positive, And then they finally tested negative. Or some people find they finally test negative and then they're still sick. And as we all know, long COVID's a thing as well. And I'm just super worried. I don't want my dad to go towards long COVID. Uh, this tired business getting tired early at night, it does concern me. I want to hope it's jet lag still, but you know, it's probably likely the virus. And anytime I see someone that still continuously is very tired, you know, early in the evening, that concerns me. And that's something I had when I first went on long COVID, then it went away, and then down the line, it came back for me. So, alrighty, guys, that's all I have for today. The next actual update on my computer, I'm thinking maybe on Sunday. We'll see. And it might still be from me masked at home. I don't know. It just depends. I'm probably going to refrain from doing at-home updates until it's negative in the house. I know when my mom had COVID back in the spring, which, by the way, I'm thinking that's maybe why she's negative this whole time and didn't get it. I mean, they were right next to each other. I'm thinking, oh, maybe she's negative because of uh, she has a little bit of immunity left from her spring infection. I don't know. And the other thing, you're probably, someone's going to probably make a comment about this down below. And this really bothers me as well. They were allowed to come back from Europe. I mean, if you're positive and you're in another country and you're traveling to the U.S., it should just be required that you have to quarantine there till you're negative. I don't know why that's not in the guidance. That's I don't know why there's not a rule saying, oh, if you're positive, you can't come to the U.S. Because that's another way that these new variants get in here as well. The whole thing is flawed. CDC guidance is just an absolute joke. I mean, I, I am, all the things I preach about, I am watching it unfold in my own family. Like all the things I warn about, I'm watching it unfold and we'll just go from here i think he's going to be better by this time next week but you know fingers crossed i'm not going to jump ahead of myself i mean he's definitely still sick it's not coughing as much well yes he is still coughing his worst symptoms were at the beginning of his case he had the fever he had the chills really bad he said he was shaking he said it was the worst he ever had in his life and people say oh it's just a cough it's just a cold well if that's the, if he's saying at 70 years old has had flu many of times in his life and saying that it's the uh, worst virus he's ever had. Yeah, that's not just a mild cold. It's not just like, oh, it's no big deal. Or the ones that are commenting on these performers. COVID, who cares? Just put on the show. No. When someone tests positive for COVID, in most cases, unless it's asymptomatic, they're actually really sick. And I get it. It's different for every single person. So, anywho, I just wanted to do an update. Uh, just be vigilant out there. I know the south is dropping. The north is rising. It's going to be different from state to state. We're not going to see too many states that are alike. Maybe New Jersey and New York will be similar just because there's so much travel between the two states. 
for work purposes in the New York City metro area. But uh, just be mindful. Any town that's a college town, and I'm going to end it after this, please be extra cautious. If you're a college football town like Penn State this weekend, there's going to be a ton of people up there. Um, I've been looking at the wastewater sites at closest to these college towns. They're just skyrocketing at this time. You can clearly see college football, these large gatherings, it's causing cases to go up in these areas. Be super vigilant. I mean, these people, they go there, they patronize in the businesses. These are employees that maybe they work outside, they live outside of the town. They then have to go home and take this to their family. They're mixing with the people in their communities. You know, it spreads. It multiplies. That's how it may start with just a couple people sick on the ship. Then it multiplies. Now, as you know, my dad's now positive. So, uh, yep, that's all I have for you guys. I'll see you again next time. I'm thinking maybe Sunday. But really, the best way to uh, keep track of what's going on my Twitter, at COVID Data Report. And then the name says Data Report. It's the same as this channel. But the tag really is at COVID Data Report. Just continue uh, following it there. As you know, I've been tweeting. I've been tweeting like crazy this week because I'm madder than ever that we've let this continue on so long. All right, I'll see you guys all again next time. Until I see you guys again next time, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want more content, subscribe down below. If you know anyone that needs this life-saving information, share this with them. Stay safe, everyone, and thanks for watching.